Hey, so this is part two, and in this video, I'm just going to be talking about thank you page profits, I called it. And really what it is, is you've got a couple of steps, right? You've got a subscription page, you've got the, the page where people enter their email address in exchange for whatever you're giving away, kind of like we talked about in the last video. And then once they enter their email address, um, what you want to do is send them to a custom URL. And uh, so, you know, how that works is basically you just want to, what, you know, no matter what uh, email service provider, page builder you use, you just want to sort of seek out the custom thank you page URL so that you can send them to your own thank you page versus like a system generated one from your email list so or from your uh, email autoresponder so that's what thank you page profits is all about is just making a custom thank you page you've probably seen a lot of these right and so all it is is just a page on your website and you just take that address and paste it in um, to your autoresponder so I'm here in Builderall and just kind of messing around making a uh, thank you page for us to look at. And what I wanted to do, you know, what I like doing on my thank you pages, and this is true whether I'm doing sort of affiliate marketing or I'm selling a product or whatever, is I just make a thank you page. I like to put a video there so that people can see me and hear my voice and decide I totally don't like this guy's style or they like it and you know or they at least hear it and kind of know who I am and put a name to a face or a voice to a, a name or you know that kind of thing um, because ultimately I don't there's no like surprises here you know, it, it part of doing business online is just like being offline it, you're yourself and you've got your own voice and the way you say things the way you do things and the first thing you want to do is just sort of get that out there in front of people so that, you know, if the, if those people come in and hear you and see you and whatever, and they're like, I can't stand the way that guy talks, or I don't like the way, yeah, I don't like what he's saying, or I don't like his style or her style or whatever, they can immediately just sort of make that decision and they'll probably just unsubscribe and that's what I want you know I don't, I don't want people on my list who I wouldn't sit down and and have a meal with or something like that and be able to have a conversation with and that's really how I email that's how I do videos and everything like that is you know it's just my style and so I'm not gonna force that on anybody if you don't like it then um, you know unsubscribe and that's what I think is a good thing to do that's why I always do a video up here right up front and you don't even have to you can do a video like I'm doing right now which is just screencasting not even have your face on there um, I use screencast-o-matic like I mentioned uh, before and it's you know 18 bucks a year for the premium version and you can just record whatever's on your screen so um, you know I do that so that's tip number one is just sort of get your voice out there and you know, I think that helps you too, right? I mean, in your whole business is, if you can just be yourself, then like business is a lot easier, you know, no matter what you're doing, right? So don't feel like you have to pretend to be somebody else when you're doing this kind of marketing. Um, in fact, that makes it much harder. You run out of steam real quick. Um, so anyway, video. And then kind of what I do here is just, if you've got like a Facebook group, like a mastermind group, you know, you can just set up a free group on Facebook, call it your mastermind group and have people join it. Frankly, I don't personally do that. I've done it in the past, but I find that managing a group is like one thing too many for me right now. So um, I'm not presently promoting like my Facebook group and stuff, but that's an idea for you is engage with them on another level right so if you're into Facebook and you're on there and you like groups and and interacting that way and you've kind of got the bandwidth to do that right now then that's a great thing to do and make people you know make it apparent that they can join right away on your thank you page right so 
you're just doing these things like you just got them to you just got this visitor to subscribe to your email list now the next step is you put a video in front of them that and I like to autoplay the video but you put your voice and personality there in front of them and you know so they're kind of going through this chain of events where they're getting to know you a little better and kind of building that relationship trust and then the next thing you do is say hey join my free Facebook group right so if they want to do that then and they're into that kind of thing then that's a great next step and so you can kind of see what I'm doing here like the thank you page is you want to be leveraging this to sort of build your business and build a relationship with whoever just subscribed to your list and the next thing you can do now you know some people do this some people don't some people don't recommend it um, some people do you know whatever but you could if you wanted put some sort of special offer in front of this new subscriber right now and so that could be a promotion for a different product you know this could be an affiliate product from Clickbank this could be one of your own products this could be something from PLR like if you've set up a PLR funnel you can send them to a sales page so you've got a few options there and you most certainly could do that you know another thing you can do is just get them engaged in another free training like that would be another way to keep sort of building the relationship and and getting people going um, and then of course the next thing you want to do is basically you want to add like a button or something like that which is going to um, um, let me find my uh, buttons here is going to make it so that people can get and download whatever it is that they are expecting to get from you right so um, you have to forgive me I'm, I'm relatively new with uh, builder all and so I, oh here it is of course I just was uh, hiding it so um, basically what you want to have them do is just be able to download whatever you're giving them right so here we go and you just put your button there right click on it add an action and essentially all you want to do is just like put a page address in here um, or a web address and what I do is I just upload the um, whatever I'm giving away like the PDF document I just put it on Amazon S3 but you could put it like on Dropbox or any of those places and then you just grab the link um, enter that in here and then you know basically just change your text right so that they can uh, uh, download the button or you know click the button to download and then um, you're good to go right so that's kind of the the typical style right for a thank you page is just make sure they can get to um, what you want to give them you know alternatively now sometimes if you feel like you've got something valuable you may want to just email the gift to them so that that way they have an incentive to give you a legitimate email address and people who give you a fake email address don't get the giveaway um, you know that's certainly a technique that I use on a regular basis because it's surprising how many people try to sort of scam this um, sort of uh, set up by just giving fake email addresses so you know choose what you want to do there I I, I um, you know think it's okay to do a, a button there and then add your URL but um, you could just send it to them and uh, let's do that and an email and that might be a more secure way to do it so that's kind of your thank you page setup and um, that's a big part of building your business, you know, so uh, You know just to recap. It's kind of like okay. This person just subscribed you want to set up a custom URL from your Email subscriber so that once they've subscribed they go straight to this. Thank you page that you create. I Recommend you know if you're comfortable doing it making a quick video and all I would do is just all I usually do is just post them on YouTube so like when you've got you know you add a, a video here it's just gonna say you know what what's the YouTube address so once you upload it to YouTube um, your welcome video 
then you just grab the link and just paste it in here. And then, you, of course, you can make it like autoplay and stuff like that if you want to do that. Okay, and then when they land on the page, they get to hear your voice and get an introduction from you. You ask them to do a couple of things like join your Facebook group or more deeply engage with you, join a webinar, check out a special offer, give them a special training, that kind of thing. And, you know, you want to do all this stuff kind of right up front. So um, that's kind of the thank you page. And um, that's it. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the next version uh, or the next step in our setting up our affiliate business. And uh, thanks for joining me.